Hands. At the end of this video, you'll know how to connect a PS5 controller to PC. One of the questions you might be asking in this video is, why would you want to do this? Why would you want to connect a PlayStation 5 controller DualSense to your PC? Awesome tech, and it adds to the immersion of gameplay, so you can have uh, your triggers here resisting your input because the trigger's locked. Maybe you've run out of ammo, or the gun's old and rusty, and it has some kind of triggering issues. Games that are currently out um, that support it, as well as future games that will come on PC, probably like Returnal and what have you, that does use the multi-trigger method, for instance. Aside from that, it feels nice. It's practically like an Xbox controller, and you should definitely check out my PC review for PlayStation 5 controller as well. Plug. Allows you to also play uh, the experiences on your PC with a higher performance, maybe you want higher frame rates or higher fidelity, higher ray tracing, and what have you. So you don't have to have the limitations of a console and still have the feel of the PlayStation 5 experience. There are also 17 plus games that support the dual senses, adaptive triggers, and uh, haptic feedback out of the box. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Geshin Impact, Deathloop, Death Stranding, Director's Cut, or most recently, Ghostwire Tokyo. Very cool game. Well, that's a great time to do it. Sony have finally dropped in support to allow you to update the controller via PC before you needed to own a PS5 console or know someone that owns one or maybe go in the store and sneak it in and update your controller like that. But now you can do it natively via PC. So that's all the reasons, that's the sell. Let's get into how to do it. We're gonna start with wireless method. All right guys, so let me show you how to connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your PC wirelessly first. So I'm going to be using a dongle here. You can get one on Amazon, super cheap. You probably have it internally on your computer already. Put it into the USB right here, like so, and then you're going to hear the Windows sound when it activates. There we go. And you can see, for me, it's already on. If it's off per chance though, right here where it says Bluetooth, you just want to tap that to on, like so. Or, alternatively, get my camera out of the way, you can go to the notifications and actions, actions center here. It's got this kind of cool speech bubble thing. Should be the same if you're Windows 11 roughly. And just hit Bluetooth and it'll be on. Okay, that first step is done. Now what we need to do is actually connect the controller. So, bring me back up. And let's, uh, let me pause and position this camera in a more appropriate place so I can get the finger positions right. All right, that should be perfect. So we're gonna go to add Bluetooth or other device here, like so. Like that. And then we're going to click Bluetooth as our first option. It might work if you click Xbox controls with wireless adapter and so forth, but we'll just go with Bluetooth. I think that works fine. And then once that is active and it's waiting, it's looking for devices and so forth now, then what you want to do is, our second cam here, hold down the PlayStation button and the share button. It looks like a flashlight almost. So hold this one down, this one at the same time until the controller starts flashing a certain way, which is doing now. And you'll see here, in my one it says wireless controller, your one might say DualSense or something similar. So just select that, connecting, connected, ready to go, easy. Now, for the receipt, let's pause again. Now we're back guys and I'm gonna show you that it's working. As I said, the receipt here, you can see I'm in Far Cry 6. You can see the full controller scheme is showing you PlayStation 5 DualSense. That's all good and that's fine. Now what I'm going to also show you is that it might not be working, but not because of the wireless method or anything like that. But we'll see. Here, let me just show you guys something. I'm going to fire. At the moment, there is no vibration. I'll put it real close to the mic. You can see there's no, there's no vibration going on here. And the trigger is just pulling nice and easy and fully. You can see it's working, obviously. Right, no wires. I'm now going to show you the hack, the fix, how to fix this problem. So let me take another pause. Actually, let's do a cut, and we'll show you how to fix this problem and get the vibrations and so forth working and all the features, and not just the basic actions going. This is going to be combined with the actual wired method of connecting the PlayStation 5 controller. So I'm going to show you how to connect the PlayStation 5 controller to the PC with a wired USB-C cable. And through that, I will show you how to fix the problem we had with Far Cry 6, despite working, not working in terms of vibration, adaptive triggers and so forth. So first things first, go to the old view here. You want a USB-C cable, you can get this off of um, Amazon or other good brands and retail places. 
and uh, it's just a basic USB-C cable. This one is, what is that? Nakusha. So obviously a well-known brand. Um, to get into the end of the USB-C input on the PlayStation 5 controller. And then that's your PC. USB 2 or 3 is all fine as well. Uh, what slot am I going to use here? I've got any slots available. I'll, I'll see if I can stick in here because I've got a lot of things running power wires that might cause some issues. Let's we'll see. I'll stick it in there. I'll turn it on. And we'll see it says set up wireless controller. You can see here it's still connected. The controller has just come up there wires for it to go so now we're using a cable and you can see that the uh, light here has become red what we're going to also need to do if you have this open like i had previous let's close it close that and we're going to go into settings here now at this point this is you're already connected to um your playstation 5 controllers with two pc done done and dusted but if you end up having that problem that we had while testing with the wireless controller, uh, why is it, ah, you can see here already. This is interesting. So if you see here in my settings, you see it says speakers, wireless controller. This is something that happens when you connect it to Windows and you want to kind of change it so that it is whatever audio device you're using. In my case, it was the uh, headphones Elgato Wave 3. And we'll take off this, uh, it's just not mute there. That's fine. But What's interesting about that is that what, that's what you need to be available. You need to have this in the output list. You need to have the wireless controller in the output list as the output output device. Not set, but available to select, as you see here. Now, when that happens, what you need to do is open the sound control panel. This is the sound settings again. Just type it in here. You'll have it. And then what you want to do is look in the playback here, and it should be in the list of audio devices. Let me get this out of the way. Should be in the list here. So I've got a whole bunch of Elgato Wave 3 stuff here. Don't worry about that. That's not going to be a concern for this. There it is right there. So what you're going to do is select it. Go to configure. Probably edit that part. And it will say quadraphonic. That's fine. You'll hit next. And what you want to do is you want to tick front, left and right. And then you have to tick surround speakers. Now, I don't know why this is a thing, but this is what fixes it in Far Cry games that have the problem where it's just operating as a normal controller with no vibration, no adaptive triggers, no special anything. So do that, select next, select finish. And that is that, that is the hack. That will fix the problem where there's some reason the audio is interfering with the operation of the PlayStation 5 controller in games like Far Cry 6. So what I'm gonna do now is Get us back in the game and then you'll see the difference hopefully and we are back guys i'm in photo mode so press it so now everything's working so i'll show you there's a resistance on the trigger as i push down i'll try and illustrate here it's not just going in normal and the vibration i'll pull it towards the mic and it might vibrate and pick up even though i got anti-shock you guys might pick that up in the mic compared to when we previously done the wireless version test. So everything's working now, the fix has worked. Let me see if my uh, wireless input is working just as well. Live, testing, taking risks. Let's see, and there we go, we're connected. Now let's see if the vibration everything's working still. Interesting. So actually with this game, I didn't know this, this is live vibration and the haptic feedback and everything or haptic feedback and the triggers are not working because the fix somehow is interfacing with the audio so it might not be a problem for you, you might be able to go into far cry and it's only far cry 6 i've had this problem with all the other 16 plus games work fine but if you have this problem with far cry 6 or ubisoft games you'd have to play via the wire to fix the problem as you can see now there's no vibration here as i fire at the um thing here Touchpad's working and everything, but the vibration's gone. Connect it via the wire. And everything's working again, including the vibration straight to the mic. It's very strange, but yeah. Let's move on as I get butchered by 
freaking pigs that don't like me doing tutorial videos apparently. But the Steam portion where we're talking about the controller settings here, do not use PlayStation configuration support unless you need to for a very specific game because in games like Deathloop, the adaptive triggers don't work and it just treats it like it's an Xbox controller. So don't use it for things that already have the support. Okay guys, now we're gonna, after that shock revelation that, like, that the fix only works Far Cry 6 when you're connected via the wired connection. We're now gonna show you how to set up the PlayStation 5 controller for Steam. Let's go to your Steam settings. You want to go all the way down to controller. You can kind of see I already practiced beforehand, right? Then we go to general controller settings. I'm just going to bring up the kind of big picture mode settings thing here. And then all you have to do is tick PlayStation configuration support. And that should make you good to go when it comes to stuff that doesn't natively want to support PlayStation 5 controller like it was an Xbox controller in Steam things. I don't need to receipt that, do I? Finally, I'm not going to go extensive on this, but I want to make sure that you know it's there, it's available as an option in case you want to go that route. Hey, my PlayStation controller's changed the color. Anyway, um, it's getting green screened out. You can also use for emulation if you want to emulate, connect your P P PC, connect your PS5 controller by emulation, then you can use an open source tool called DS4 Windows. It works for the PS4 and PS5 controller what DS4 Windows one would into Google or all other good neighborhood search engines. Pick the uh, option here, it says ds4-windows.com. Seems to be the official place. Uh, ignore the ads unless you want to get them some free dollar. Go into the, uh, read the stuff, check the features, make sure it's what you want. Hit the download button, download the thing, follow the instructions, and then you can now be connected to PC via emulation. Although I don't see why you want to do that, really and truly. The other methods I've shown you are good to go, work just as well, and everything should pretty much work with those methods. So, you know, it's just there so you know about it. You can use it if you want to use it. At this point of the video, there should be a video on the screen. One of these videos on the screen is what YouTube thinks you'd love to continue this beautiful relationship that we've continued to just create between each other. Otherwise, you can pick one of the other three that I've selected for you. <laughs> Completely your choice. Either way, I'm a happy man. Sayonara gozaimasu.